Are you ready to take on the challenge of becoming a self-aware genius? You really can make it happen. Self-awareness is often touted as a key to unlocking personal growth and success. And for good reason, when we have a deep understanding of ourselves, our thoughts and our emotions, we're better equipped to make intentional decisions. We can build stronger relationships and we can achieve our goals. But despite the importance, many of us actually struggle to cultivate self-awareness in our daily lives. So why is it so hard to become self-aware? Well, for one, reflection is a skill that requires practice. And in today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and the bustle and neglect to take a step back and examine our thoughts and feelings. Another obstacle is fear. Fear of vulnerability, fear of confronting our weakness, and fear of change. And then there's the challenge of honesty. It's hard to be brutally honest with ourselves especially when it comes to our flaws and our shortcomings. In addition, many of us actually struggle to differentiate between our thoughts and our emotions. We might think that we're responding to a situation based on logic, but in reality, our emotions are actually driving the show. Then there's the issue of bias. We all have them, but we're often unaware of how they're influencing our perceptions and our decisions. By acknowledging those challenges, we can actually begin to overcome them and start building our own self-awareness. So what is the solution? How can we overcome these challenges and become more self-aware? Well, that's what we're going to explore today. And by following five simple, five simple steps, you can start to cultivate self-awareness and unlock your full potential. The first step is to practice mindfulness. And that involves being present in the moment, paying attention to your thoughts, your feelings, and your physical sensations. You can do that through meditation, journals, or simply taking a few deep breaths throughout the day. The key is to focus on the present and let go of all those distractions around you. The second step is to identify your values and your passions. When you know what's most important to you, you can start making decisions that actually align with the values and then pursue a life that's true to who you are as a person. The third step is to ask for feedback from trusted friends, family or colleagues. And that can be a difficult step because it requires vulnerability and a willingness to hear constructive criticism. However, it is a crucial part of becoming self-aware. It allows you to see yourself through others' eyes and it identifies areas for improvement. If you do struggle with taking feedback, you may need to also work on your resilience, which Funnily enough, I have currently a free four-part resilience course on my website. You can check that out. I'll put the link in the show notes. Go to the fourth step. The fourth step is to keep a journal or even take some time each day to reflect on your experience. And that helps you to identify patterns, gain insights, and develop a deeper understanding of you and how you're reacting to your life. And the fifth and final step is to take action based on your newfound self-awareness. That might involve changing your behavior, setting boundaries, or pursuing new opportunities. The key is to take small intentional steps towards creating the life that you want to live. By following those five steps, you can start to cultivate self-awareness and unleash your full potential. One of the most powerful examples of the transformative power of self-awareness is the story of a friend of mine who struggled with anxiety and depression. For years, she felt stuck and lost. She was unsure how to break free from her cycle of ne negative thoughts and emotions. And then she started practicing mindfulness, journaling and seeking feedback from loved ones around her. She began to then identify what her values and her passions were. And she slowly but surely started to make changes in her own life. She started seeing small steps towards pursuing her dreams. Eventually she landed her ideal job, started living a life that truly reflected who she was. Through that journey, my friend also discovered that self-awareness was the key to unlocking her true potential. She learned to recognize her thoughts and emotions and respond to those in a way that was intentional and authentic. And the result of that was a life of purpose, fulfillment, and joy true to her. So what's the takeaway then? Becoming a self-aware genius isn't rocket science. It simply just needs a willingness to take a few simple steps and commit to the journey. By practicing mindfulness, identifying your values, seeking feedback, reflecting on your experiences, 
and then taking action, you can start to cultivate self-awareness and unlock your full potential. And the best part is it's easier than you think. Just get started and put it into practice. Thank you all for watching. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Have you had any experiences with your self-awareness that transformed you in your life? Share your stories and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos on developing your personal growth. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.